morning. Good morning, T. Nice little sunrise out there. <laughs> Oh, it is gorgeous out here, Jen Sukanya, and I have to apologize. I have to use my low voice because I don't want to interrupt or distract the golfers that are right behind me on the practice range. We're two days out. The 118th U.S. Open Championship begins on Thursday here at Shinnecock Hills Golf Course, and there are 156 golfers participating. Twelve of them are U.S. Open champions, and one of those champions, in fact, he won three times, is right to my left in the blue sweater. Oh, he just took a sweater off in the blue golf shirt. That is Tiger Woods, guys. Tiger has won in 2000, 2002, 2008. Those are three U.S. Open wins, which puts him second to Jack Nicklaus, Ben Hogan, and Bob Jones. Those are some historic, legendary names. Each of them have four U.S. Open wins. Now, with the win here this weekend, Tiger would tie them, obviously, but that would also give Tiger his 15th major professional title, putting him three back of Nicholas, who has the most major wins in history with 18. Now, as you guys know, Tiger is 42 years old, and he uh, is looking for his first major win since coming off back surgery. This is really exciting. He has been playing well, so all eyes will be on him for a big finish. We're taking a look right now at Bubba Watson, who has been a Masters champion as he warms up. He had a big uh, party here, guys this weekend. He is on the cover of the Hamptons magazine this week. Obviously, as all of the best golfers in the world descend on the Hamptons here. And then also uh, to my right, is he still there? Yes. In all white, we have Dustin Johnson. He is also one of the favorites. He just won the FedEx St. Jude Classic in Memphis this past weekend. But here's an interesting stat uh, about that. No one has ever won on back-to-back -back weekends coming in to the U.S open another little new york connection tidbit you know who dustin johnson's uh, father-in-law is yeah former new york ranger and one of the best ever actually he is the greatest uh, wayne gretzky um so we have a lot going on here this is really exciting for me because i'm a golfer myself i'm actually in my golf gear, gear today but a lot of people here in new york they are huge fans of phil mickelson now phil will be turning 48 this week and his birthday is on saturday and he's experienced his birthday almost every single u.s open and you know those New York fans, they like to give him that big birthday welcome. What's interesting about Phil Mickelson, he has finished second in the U.S. Open six times. He has never won a U.S. Open. Three of those runner-ups came right here on Long Island, two of them at Beth Page, and one of them was right here at Shinnecock Hills. So Phil is going for that elusive U.S. Open championship, and that would also give him a career grand slam. I'll be coming back to you guys within the next hour to some for some more behind the scenes. We'll see some other golfers getting ready for the big practice round today. Live at Shinnecock Hills, site of the 2018 U.S. Open. I'm Tina Servasio. Back to you in the studio. Uh, Tina, Tina, yeah, star-studded lineup yeah, out there. I feel like I don't even have to go there. I'm going to give you a golf clap. Excellent, excellent. That excellent was really, work, really good. Oh, dainty. <laughs> I mean, yes. Good job, yeah. Suki. It's really good. It's really good.